bright and early. Day three, the fun begins. All the prep is done. Tile installation is obviously our favorite part of bath and shower remodeling projects. Shower's prepped, waterproof, four inch cans in, vent fans in, angle stops are done, valve is plumbed, everything is ready. Let's show you quickly. So the shower is ready for tile. We will install 90% of the tile in this shower today. Tomorrow we will install floor tile, drywall work, everything prepped and ready for paint. Vent fan is in and duct four inch can is in. Now it's time for some fun. Get our hands dirty, get some tile on the wall, 12 by 24 rectified, vertical. Here we go, let's get to it. completely and fully tiled. Everything looks absolutely beautiful. Rectified, clean, white, bright tile. Square, flat, plumb. We'll put a couple of Stabila levels on it to show you how plumb it is. We've got that Stabila angle finder. Show you how square the walls are. Today is super simple. Install the floor tile, do some basic drywall work. And here we are. to prep this slab down here, install our wood look 12 by 24 porcelain floor tile.
and this bathroom is nearly finalized. All we have left to do is hang a mirror and hang a cabinet above the toilet. Collect our final payment and move on to the next one. Let's show you the final product. Here is the final product. Quickly start with the floors. 12 by 24 wood look Italian porcelain. Staggered this at a 50% offset. 1 16th of an inch for grout joints. Everything is flat, absolutely no lippage. We used an anti-lippage system for this, left tech. It is a gray wood look. Porcelain. Moving on to the cabinet, we have a distressed green and gray cabinet. Soft closed doors. We installed this marble top, undermount sink, fresh nickel faucet, and we opted for glass for the backsplash that is behind the niche as well for the deco. A new mirror, decorative light, new vent fan, four inch can. We have a cabinet here as well to match the cabinet down here for extra storage. We installed a new toilet, installed baseboard throughout. Let's take a look at the shower. We deleted the old dated fiberglass surround, installed an acrylic tall soaking tub, new valve, raised the shower head, Again, all the finishes are brushed nickel. On the walls, field wall tiles, a 12 by 24 rectified Carrera look with subtle movement. We installed it at a vertical layout. Halves and folds ending at the bottom of the sill. Halves and folds at the top of the shower. So everything is symmetrical. Marble for the sill, glass behind for the decorative. Schluter Jolly, trimmed out for the top left and right sides, tight clean miners, 12 by 24 inch niche. We also use that Schluter Jolly for the sides of the shower. And that is it for this bathroom remodel. Everything looks clean and fresh and modern as usual. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see future episodes. If you like this video, tap the like button as well. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.